Today, we begin a spiritual journey of Lent that will span 40 days. We are entering a holy time, a time of reflection and stillness. Now is the time for repentance and examining yourselves. Close your eyes, be still, listen, for we are journeying to the sacred center of our faith. Jesus is waiting for us, reaching out to us, inviting us to follow him along the journey that brought him to the cross. Listen in silence, for Jesus is calling you. Sometimes we just need Jesus to come and deliver us. And it's not always from other people or other things. Sometimes he needs to deliver us from ourselves. And we just ask you, Lord. Lord, deliver me. Cause all I seem to do is hurt me. Keep on going the wrong way, yes. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come in your brokenness, knowing where you have fallen short of God's expectation and your own. Come in your pain, acknowledging your hurt and how you have hurt others. Come in your weakness. Come in your sinfulness, acknowledging what you have done and what you have left undone. Accept our repentance, O Lord. May our sins be removed and our spirits made clean and whole. Purify us and give us a clean heart and a renewed spirit. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We begin our journey in Lent with the sign of ashes, a biblical symbol of mourning and repentance. I invite you in the name of Christ to observe a holy Lent by self-examination and with prayer and fasting, by works of love and by reading and meditating on the Word of God. As a mark of our mortal nature, I invite you to come before our God and place on your head in ashes the sign of the cross, a symbol of our mortality, a symbol of the cost of sin, and yet the sign of our salvation and promise of eternal life. Take your cup your cup of ashes and dip your finger in and make the sign of the cross on your forehead. Repeat these words. Remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. But the steadfast love of the Lord endures forever. We continue the service with the sacrament of Holy Communion. The grace and mercy of our God, who in Christ bears our burdens and saves us from our sins, be with you all. On the night our Lord and Savior was betrayed, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us say with confidence the prayer our Savior taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For those that picked up your communion cups, want to make sure that we all do this together. We don't have any hiccups on it. So on the cup, the top layer is a, just a piece of film that you pull back. And you grab the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ broken for you.
with opening up the canister of the blood. Understand that this is the blood of Christ shed for you. The gifts of our God to the people of God. Thanks be to God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hi, I'm Minister Marty Ringer. And of course, this is a Ash Wednesday service. It's a service of remembering the sacrifice that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Sacrifice for us. You know, it's interesting during this time of 40 days, we are trying to figure out some things to make us closer to Christ. If you're really trying to be closer to Christ. You know, it's interesting. A lot of us seasoned Christians, you know, a lot of us reminds me of a story that was in the news recently and it's still kind of going around with social media. You know, there was a young lady that was doing her hair and ran out of the product that she usually do, uses to, I guess, keep her hair uh, uh, tight and firm. And she ran out and she grabbed Gorilla Glue. I know some of y'all already know about this, but she grabbed Gorilla Glue and sprayed that on her hair and for the next few weeks, her hair wouldn't move. Stuck in this position and never would move. And she says she's washed it over 15 or 20 times and no, no movement, no give. You know, it reminds me of some of us as Christians that at some point in our lives, it's like we got Gorilla Glue on our spiritual life that it doesn't move anymore. We don't get closer and we don't really go too far away from Christ, but we are stuck in this situation of gorilla glue in our spiritual journeys that we are not even moving. In this 40 days of Lent, I'm asking you to ask yourself to examine yourself and say, what kind of movement do I want in my spiritual life? How can I get closer to Christ in my spiritual life? What am I willing to sacrifice? to have a more enriched, renewed spiritual life? Are we tired of going through the same situations each year? It's almost like we're on 285 with a bypass going around and around and around in a circle and never getting off. I remember an old poem actually I wrote when I was real young. I think I was still in high school. But just a part of it said, and I don't know if you've ever felt like this, where it says, like, me, oh, my, I feel like I'm dying. Why am I continuously trying? Why am I always on my knees, God, crying? And I don't know if you can relate to any of those situations, any time in your life where it seems like I keep trying, but I never get any kind of progress in me, oh my, I feel like I'm dying sometimes because I'm not seeing any kind of growth in my spiritual life or sometimes my just regular natural life. So I'm asking you today, right now, during this 40 days of Lent, what are you willing to sacrifice for the change? What are you willing to to do, to break that gorilla glue in our spirits, in our soul, in our relationship with Christ. What are you willing to do to get closer? Because see, if you, if you knock on the right doors, if you, if you really humble your heart, especially during this season, you might come out just like that individual, that young lady who the doctor found her. The doctor knew about her story. It was a doctor that specialized in chemicals, specialized in knowing the chemical breakdown and the chemical makeup of the Gorilla Glue, that he knew that 
if I put this chemical and that chemical together, it could break down and it can make change. Us as Christians, I want to remind us that we have a spiritual doctor that can fix all diseases. I guess it's like that new what Johnson & Johnson uh, 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 product that's coming out that's supposed to cure all diseases. I'm not endorsing that. I'm just saying that they, that's what they're saying. Anyway, but we do have a Christ. We have a Savior that he has all the answers. He knows how to make that move, make that shift, break down those, those barriers that's keeping us stuck. In the scripture, Joel, the second chapter, I think the 12th verse where it says, turn back to God. Give him that love that he's giving you, that steadfast love. Doing this 40 days of Lent, like the scripture says, don't worry about tearing your clothes to make the outside look like you're sacrificing. Work on that inside. So this Lenten journey, what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to do in these 40 days? You know, a little bit of something beats a whole lot of nothing. So even if you try just a little bit, a little bit of meditation, a little bit more of reading the word, a little bit of restraint of saying, you know, he sacrificed his life for us. I think I can sacrifice my favorite collard greens. You know, I'm saying whatever it could be, but be honest with yourself and do a real sacrifice. Do a real sacrifice. What can you do? What are you willing to do to get closer to Christ? What are you willing to do to get closer to that blessing what are you willing to do to remove the gorilla glue this is just this is not just another season it's a season of remembrance it's a season to remember that our lord and savior sacrificed his life for us Answer that call. What are you willing to sacrifice to get closer to Christ? Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord God, just we thank you for all of your grace, all of your mercy, all of your love, Lord God. And Lord God, we ask you during this season, Lord God of Lent, Lord God, to help us cleanse ourselves, Lord God, to see ourselves as who we truly are, Lord God. Allow us to see the blemishes of our robes, Lord God, and allow us to work diligently to clean them. We know that we can't do any of this by ourselves, so we do rely all upon you, Lord God. And Lord God, we just ask you to hold our hands during this season, Lord God. Lord God, walk us to our crosses, Lord God. Lord God, we... Thank you for your sacrifice, and we thank you for your love and your grace. In your holy name, amen.
Jesus took the form of a servant and was obedient to death, even death on a cross. May the mark of mortality remind us of our dust to dust ex existence, bringing us nearer to you. May almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Marked with the cross of Christ, go in peace to love and serve the Lord.